You're watching Pulse for the 2nd of March, and it is once again time for some StarCraft news. In this week's episode, we take a look at Blizzard's Season 7 GSL map poll, a ton of tournament and event news in the form of the usual GSL updates, assembly and MLG Winter Arena recaps, Iron Squid results, the announcement of the IPL4, the executives, the business of gaming, and more. Let's get straight to the news. First up, in recent seasons Blizzard have put a much greater emphasis on tournament viable maps on the StarCraft 2 ladder, and the community has been consistently asking Blizzard to add more GSL maps to the pool. I mean, come on, Taldream Ultim must be getting lonely up in there. Good news, that time is in fact coming soon. We can help Blizzard out by voting for which GSL maps we'd like included in the ladder map pool. They ask us to look over the maps from the GSL history carefully and then vote for our two favorite maps to replace existing maps in the ladder. We've been asked that when choosing our favorite maps, we need to keep the following qualities in mind. Balance, map size, rush distance, and most importantly to me at least, fun. Next week, Blizzard will tally the votes from all regions, and those will help them choose which maps will be added for Ladder Season 7. The maps we're going to be voting on are Balshir Winter, Calm Before the Storm, Crevasse, Daybreak, Dual Sight, Metropolis, Terminus, and Zalnaga Fortress. I personally want to vote for Dual Sight and one other, but I haven't decided on that other one yet. Be sure to let me know below which two maps you voted for. With that done, let's move on to the tournament and event news. First up, let's have a look at what's happening in the GSL. As I mentioned last week, the finals are happening on March the 3rd, so you can tune in this coming Saturday to catch those live, if you're interested. The two players in the finals are Genius and Dongregu, Protoss and Zerg. I can't wait. In the Code A, things have been wrapped up, and we can see who's moved back up into Code S. MVP, Curious, Seed, Oz, Ryung, Teja, Jakji, Hero, Zenio, Marine King, Nesti, and Nada are all jumping back up into the Code S. But that's not the end of it. The up and down matches, as you can see on your screens right now, still need to be played. They're happening from the 12th till the 16th of March. If you want to see all these results and the participants of the up and down matches for yourselves, you can check the description below this video for links to them. Now in our GSL extras and what is probably our biggest GSL news, the 2012 GSTL Season 1 Finals will be held in Las Vegas, USA together with the IPL4. Now that sort of spoils the whole IPL4 announcement thing, but you can still try be excited when I announce it later in this episode. Stay tuned for that. The calendar that you're looking at right now, and that you did actually look at a moment or so ago, is the schedule for the GOM TV guys for the next two months. As you can see, we've got the Code A there, the Code S, the up and down matches, the GSTL games, and everything else. You can obviously read all about this below, and I will tell you that I am once again super excited for yet another GOM TV event being held outside of Korea. The previous finals that were held at BlizzCon were an absolute blast, and I can't wait to see these. So now that you have the dates, there's no excuse not to be ready. And with that done, let's move on to our next piece of news. Yes, it is in fact time to have a quick recap of what happened at Assembly Winter 2012. I'm gonna give it to you straight, so if you didn't want to be spoiled, if you were still catching up on VODs or replays of the event, then you'd better turn the video off right now. Done? Okay. So Polt took Stefano down in the finals with a score of 4-1. to one. Third place was Puma and fourth place was Lucky. The finals were really good, don't let that 4-1 to one fool you, Stefano put up an amazing fight and at some points I thought he was actually going to win most of the games. Somehow though, Palt came out on top. If you are interested in seeing those games, you can find the replay pack of the event linked below and I will link you to Total Biscuit's YouTube channel where all the VODs are going up. It's probably better to watch it with commentary because it's much more exciting that way. You can find the link on your screens right now and if you do click that, it will open in a new window. I did actually watch Assembly a above Winter Arena this weekend and I can't say I'm disappointed. The streams were great and the games were absolutely amazing. If you want to read more about the event you can do so below. You can find the full results, the replays, the VODs, interviews with a bunch of the players, photos and much more. Definitely worth checking out. And now on to the MLG Winter Arena results. At the MLG Winter Arena the brackets were a little bit more confusing but if you have a look at the finals bracket then you can see exactly what went down. The winner of this event, Marine King Prime. He took down Dongregu in the finals with a score of 4 to 2. That's the total score in the extended series. So I heard the games in the finals were really impressive and I guess that makes sense. Marine King Prime, Dongregu, 
Those are two of the best players in the world. I was really putting my money on Dongregu, seeing that he's actually one of the players in the GSL finals right now. But still, this is Marine King we're talking about, and he has been in pretty much every single grand final ever. He definitely has what it takes to get there, so it's good to see him actually take it one step further and win the whole thing. Now, as I said, I can't really go into too much detail about this because I didn't watch it for myself. But if you want to read more about the event, see some photo galleries, check some player interviews out, and even see a poll asking, will you subscribe to the next MLG Arena event, then you can check the description below this video. And if you were wondering, most people said they probably won't unless they drop the price a bit. But anyway, check that out below. Now let's talk Iron Squid. The first Iron Squid show actually aired live on the 29th of February. That was on Wednesday. If you didn't know, these are set to be aired twice a week on Wednesdays and Sundays. The streamers are Total Biscuit and Diapolo and Pomf and Thud. I'm well aware I might be butchering those names, but it'll have to do for now, until someone corrects me at least. A couple of games have been played in Group A and you can see the results on your screens right now. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that the rest of them will be played on Sunday. So tune in then if you want to catch those games live and if you want to read more about this you can do so in the description below this video. I will just mention for anyone that was wondering, it does seem like these games are cast from replays. So those of you looking for something that's actually totally live with the players actually playing live you might be slightly disappointed. I actually like it this way and I think the games will be better because the players can play them when they want to play them and not be forced to play them at a certain time. The one thing that could get annoying is if people spoil the results. If the results go up on the wiki page before the show airs, that kind of sucks. But hey, the casting is live so that's great. Check it out on Sunday if you're interested, you can see the times of the broadcasts on your screens right now. Next up, we're gonna have a talk about the IGN Pro League or IPL 4. The time has finally come for the IGN guys to announce the venue for their $100,000 StarCraft 2 tournament and $50,000 League of Legends tournament. It's going to be happening at the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas in Nevada, USA. That is incredibly cool and I can tell you now that with the whole thing being at such a flashy venue, the streams are probably going to be super exciting. I will also mention that I am incredibly jealous of the players. If they get to stay in that hotel, then they're going to have the time of their lives. Even if they don't win or do well at the tournament, the fact that they're going there alone is special enough. With this, just remember that I mentioned before that the GSTL finals are also happening in Las Vegas alongside the IPL4. You can read all about this below and check the IPL4 promo video out right here on YouTube. Oh, and as one quick extra, it seems like the IPL 5 is also going to be held at the Cosmopolitan. Yes, they inadvertently announced the IPL 5 along with the IPL 4. It seems like the real deal, and we may have another GOM TV event at the next IPL as well. Read about that below too. Now in our last piece of news, and the only piece of news we've got that's not entirely tournament and event related. Complexity Gaming and Team Dignitas, in conjunction with Sound Blaster, are proud to present a live show hosted by Jason Lake and Michael O'Dell, the executives, the business of gaming. This is set to air each Wednesday, and the hosts will be joined by news anchor Patrick Chobopi and O'Neill to discuss the business side of recent events and interview a chosen individual who is impacting the business side of esports or gaming in general. The executive's goal is to educate the next generation of business leaders and facilitate an open discussion about the opportunities and challenges facing the esports business today. So the first episode of this show aired on Wednesday the 29th of February and yes it seems like Wednesday was a big day for new shows to air. You can find the first episode linked below and if you're thinking to yourself that this may be a little boring, well there will at least be some big names guest starring on the show. People like Nazgul from Team Liquid and none other than Total Biscuit from right here on YouTube. I think it could be a lot of fun. Although these episodes are really long, they're probably going to be pretty action-packed for those that are actually interested in this kind of thing. I definitely like the idea and I think this will help a lot of people out looking to get into the business side of esports. So if you want to read more about this and check that first episode out, you can do so below. Now let's move on to the StarCraft 2 Smalls. Firstly, in the tournament and event Smalls, remember you can catch the Intel Extreme Masters Season 6 Finals at CBIT 2012, read about the Scan Invitational number 4, the most evil genius is starting on March the 4th, don't forget about that, and Polt has taken the MSI Pro Cup. First up in the community smalls, have a look at the latest Art of War post, this one about morale. Have a look at some prize money stats for January 2012. 
right here on YouTube. You can have a look at the latest Meet the Evil Genius video, this one featuring Idra. Check interviews out with Sundance to Giovanni, QXE, Carmack and Neil Kaplan. Then it seems like Major was released from Check 6. The Slayer's Facebook and Twitter accounts are no longer official. You can have a look at a cute Baneling sculpture below and lastly, don't forget about the Artosis Hour. The show is indeed a lot of fun. But sadly, that's all I have for you in the StarCraft news this week. Check back here soon for more. Remember to check the description below this video for everything that I spoke about and most importantly, happy StarCrafting.